about this discovery and surprised to learn that there were any government records that were taken there to that office. But I don't know what's in the documents. I've, my lawyers have not suggested I ask what documents they were. I've turned over the boxes. They've turned over the boxes to the archives. And we're cooperating fully, cooperating fully with the review, and which I hope will be finished soon. And uh, there'll be more detail uh, at that time. Huh. It is the Stephanie Miller Show. Welcome to it. Uh, Carl Sells, Rocky, and Malcolm Nance coming up. But now, hi, you, Bob. Hi. Hi. Good morning, Stephanie Miller. How are you? I'm just fine. I is Great. Are, are you as uh, isn't it like getting something like an eyelash caught in your eye for like it's going to be for two years, isn't it? Just a little irritating something. <laughs> Just... Well, yeah, I guess it would be that <laughs> level of irritation. No, it's it's a lot worse. Something much larger. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, like M- Matt Gates's face in your eye or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> His entire know. forehead. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You just, I mean, Bob, you covered it. Thank you for your bollarding. It's we're all doing the best we can here. You said uh, the documents were immediately handed over to NARA. DOJ was informed, but good job suggesting a parallel to Trump's document that that, that discovered and returned uh, could have fit your tweet. Delete your account, CBS News. Pathetic. Um, it just we yep. uh, we realize how we got here with Hillary's emails and the mainstream media in the first place, right? We've seen this so many times, Stephanie. In 2013, I think we saw a lot of the reporting. I know I was covering it uh, around the Snowden documents. The reporting was exactly like this, where you had some gigantic incendiary headline, and then maybe even a, a few paragraphs backing up that headline. Then you get to paragraph three, four, five, six, maybe paragraph 24, and suddenly you realize, oh, this isn't exactly what the headline said. I've been fooled by whoever it was reporting, and in this case, CBS News, where in this exclusive piece about these, uh, you know, 10 or so documents that were found at the Penn Biden Center, by the time you get to paragraph, I think it's three and four, after, you know, a couple of pretty sizable paragraphs, uh, one and two, and suddenly that's when you realize, oh, they ha- they're cooperate they're handing it back to the national archives and they're informing the DOJ and everything's yeah. normal this is fine yeah. <laughs> not anywhere close to what's happening at Mar-a-Lago with Donald Trump and yeah. 300 plus documents most of those top secret and, and look at uh, all unbelievable. the unbelievable you know inflation e gas prices end of the world coverage during the midterms and then just nothing when it drops like nothing <laughs> That's it, yeah. you know, on to the next gotcha Biden moment, right? Right, right. And immediately, of course, the entire Red Hat Entertainment Complex picked up on it. Uh, Jesse Waters screaming, you know, where's the raid? Uh, Dana Lash screaming, where's the raid? Donald Trump completely losing his spadoinkle about all of this because they don't even actually really need facts anymore. Uh, but all they need to do is repeat that headline the cbs news headline and the thing that frustrated me most about it and i tweeted about it is that the headline or at least the tweet about the story could have mentioned that the documents were also returned and i tested it it would have fit into the 280 characters including the link to the actual story yeah so this is something they could have done but they chose not to and i wonder why cbs news chose not to include that the documents were immediately returned I mean, right there in the tweet. Right. It, is it not, would have solved all kinds of problems. Right. That's what I was saying. I read several tweets, you know, Andrew Weissman, whoever, just, the, just very beautifully, easily, because you're right, in one sentence you can sum it up. Trump stole yeah. documents, refused mm-hmm. to give them back, lied to the FBI about them. Biden inadvertently had documents that he called them immediately and returned. Yes. I mean, it's, it's yes. Anyway. The, the National Archives knew these documents were missing for a year and a half before Mar-a-Lago was raided. It was more than a year and a half from yeah. January 2021 through whatever it was late. I forget exactly when that raid happened, August of, of this past year. So there's, it's a long time compared to, oh, no, no, November 2nd, 2022. Oh, we're... 
10 documents here in the Penn Biden Center. We should return them. They were back in the hands of the National Archives the very next day yeah. on November 3rd. There's a big difference between yeah. 12 hours and a year and a half. Well, you quoted, I don't know where, where you're quoting from, but uh, thank you, somebody. You said the same day the material was discovered, November 2nd, the White House Counsel's Office notified the National Archives, which took possession of the materials the following morning. And the documents yeah. were not the subject of any previous request or inquiry by the archives.